hi guys welcome back to coding world today in this video we are going to see one more tutorial we are going to see one more video on spring boot microservice and in this i am covering a spring batch model from the spring boot so here what we are going to do we are creating one microservice and in that microservice with the help of spring quads job we are creating a two jobs and under first job we are creating a two task and second job we are creating a third task so and we are scheduling that jobs on a specific time and those will run in the same interval so this is my project in this project i have configured this project from our spring boot initializer and imported into my uh, intelj so i will show you uh, what are the dependencies i have imported in my project so first uh, i have imported the quads then i have imported a batch and then web and to store all job related data uh, we are storing into in memory for that purpose i have created the s2 s2 database and lambook is for the boiler code to avoid the boiler flood code code yeah so and these are like i have my application dot property file in that i have disabled the batch at the at the starting so it should not pick by the system and start we have triggers which will trigger the our job and second one is to for show the our s2 console and for that we have added the spring boot s2 console enabled so right now currently i have my spring boot application so what we are going to do we are creating a two jobs and each jobs will be having a task and to for every task we will be having a steps steps and that steps assigned to the task and the task is assigned to the our job so first let's create a first uh, two jobs and for those two jobs we have to create first tasks so all i'm creating a package task and in that I'm creating task one. So to create task, we have to implement task let interface from Spring Boot. So it has a methods execute method that we have to implement. So dot finished. So this is a simple task which I am printing here. Uh, System dot log out print layer and first task is started and let's wait for some times using our thread. You can do anything in this block like uh, reading the files from any for particular folders and putting that data into the database but that i'm going to show you in next video so here we are going to show end task is end and we will pause this with a thread the thread dot sleep we will sleep for at least 10 millisecond and like same we will create a second task and we will use this task to run our job okay so in this way we have completed our first task and second task now let's configure our main properties for the, our jobs which are the job details and then we are also creating the triggers for each job and all those details and triggers we will register with our job scheduler which is our main class which will hold all information about the job and all your life cycle will be control from the job controller so our next job is to create a quad job and for that i'm going to create a 
package job and under that I am going to create a custom quad job so this is going to extend quads bin and we will override our execute internal okay and so in this job we have to add some fields which are job name job launcher and job lock locator so let's create setter getter for this okay so we are going to override this execute internally internal and what i'm going to do i'm creating a job and that job i'm registering with the job name and job locator and job launcher so this is a job which is i'm getting from job locator with our job name and job parameters are for every jobs i am passing as a job id so we are done with our quads custom quad job and in this custom quad job we are creating the getting the uh, job from our job locator and we are going to create a job locator and um, job launcher bins in next uh, in next class and before that i am telling you to register your job with the job name job launcher and job locator so let's create our job runner so package config in this config i am going to create initial config related to the job runner and job launcher so this is my batch config i am annotating this with a enable batch processing and this is my configuration so i am adding as a configuration also and in this what we are going to do we are going to create our step one step two by adding our tasks so i have created a batch config and in that batch config i have added a job builder and step builder factory so we are going to create our steps using our tasks so this is my first step, step one where i am getting the step one and task one so this these are the names which are we are giving for our steps steps two and task second then i am giving going to create a a job which will be executing our step one step two as per i show in our diagram first job are we are going to run with a two step second job we are going to run with our one step so that i am instead of creating third third step or third or third task i am using a same first one so these are the demo job first and one now we have created our job and steps first we have created task those tasks we are assigned to our step and that step is assigned to our job now we have to register our jobs and triggers with our job scheduler create our new class for all our job details and triggers all these are my configuration and here i am going to implement our triggers and job details this is my quad quads config where i am importing like a job launcher auto adding and job locator so this is my first class job details and in this i am giving our job name this should be a same as we are giving in our job detail when we are creating in our, our jobs in our batch config so then launcher i have given and i am building my new job like uh, with squad job 
and for that i am giving a all job data map to tell like which job he has to run okay and this is for job one detail same i have implemented for the job the job two detail where i am job data map is there i am giving job name job launcher log job locator and squad job so i am creating i am going to create a job of custom cord job and all these are we are storing durable means it will not in, uh, run for one only once it will run every time whenever the system is up and i am creating a triggers like for every job we have to define a trigger triggers which will triggers our job on that specific time so here i am defining it as a simple schedule which will triggers after 10 second every 10 millisecond here it is in second so every 10 second and it will repeat forever so now this schedule i am giving to the our trigger builder and that trigger builder like this is a main this is a main part so where we are creating a new trigger and we are giving a job one detail and this is a name for that this is the scheduler and we are creating our trigger first trigger so same like our trigger 2 which will repeat after 20 seconds now we have to register all these jobs detail and trigger with our scheduler bin and that we are going to import it that we are going to create using a bean so i have created our new scheduler bean and in scheduler bean we are giving our all triggers and our quads properties and our job details these three are the important things which we have to register with our scheduler bean and these are the quads property where we are giving like from where we need to read the quads property and those I am passing for class path resource and here in above I have created a bin of the job register bin post processor and all those registry job registry I am setting with the job job registry bin processor okay now we are ready with our all first spring boot quad job microservice and we are going to try with running it so let's run it yes we are implemented it successfully it's started running for every first arc task is started first task is started second first arc is end and first task is it and this is because we are using a step one in a two jobs and those are running after 20 second and 10 second respectively now it will keep running first target started ended second target is ended start so we have successfully implemented our uh, job scheduler job using our quads and it will keep keep running uh, forever unless until you are stopping your microservice i have import i have pushed all this code to our github repository and attaches same link it with our video description if you like this video and spring batch tutorial please subscribe my channel and if you want videos on some other topics please do write in comment thank you and happy coding